They made the 300 mile trek east from Atlanta to the coastal town of Savannah, burning forests and crops and pulling up railway lines. In fact, at Sherman's command, soldiers would often melt the railroads and wrap them around trees, and these railroad wrapped tree trunks would become known as Uncle Billy's neckties. Well, this campaign made Sherman a complete villain in the South, but a great hero in the North, and second only perhaps to his commander, U.S. Grant, the top Union general during the course of the war. Sources indicate that Sherman's army destroyed over $100 million worth of goods in their march to the sea. Of course, the march would not be complete without a Union takeover of another important Confederate city. And sure enough, Sherman's forces took Savannah on December 22nd, and he famously then sent a message to President Abraham Lincoln shortly thereafter, presenting his Christmas present to the commander in chief, the city of Savannah.